Good morning, it's Mark again here, weatherman plus. I'm gonna give you an update on Hurricane Laura. I'm gonna show you the, the impacts first. This is the GFS model, it is agreement with all the other models. Uh, it will show you the impacts, and the yellow you're looking at there is in the 70s to 80s, to, and it's going all up to 90s on the edge, so it is growing. But it's already going to be a, a, a big hurricane coming in to, to, towards Texas. And next, I'm going to show you the thunderstorms and the severe weather that's expected from this path. That way you can see how much she really does cover, because I tell you what, Laura is a big girl, and she does mean a lot of business. Now, that low intensification you get before landfall right there is 107, 108 but it does peak a little bit more. So I'm gonna get you to the most intense part uh, of the landfall potential strength so we can see what we're dealing with. I do show it did weaken some, so I don't see no crazy cat four or anything like that uh, that's gonna happen out of this. But as far as the actual uh, damage level before it gets to, to land, it's gonna be 110 like they projected. That is what I am, am following, that is what I am seeing. So they are right smack on with that. So be careful from Houston all the way to Lafayette because this storm is not no joke. Uh, all the white you see is all the 30s and 40s. The orange is the 50s and 60s. You get to the 70s with the yellow and the dark and the 80s and then the 90s and the 100s with the green, which the green does not come back. And I do show once it hits land, a lot of the orange, the 50s and the 60s and almost 70s, it does dissipate rather quickly and it's just the white, which is the 40s to the low 50s which is a good thing. So this is at 7 a.m. on the 27th, and you can see that most of the pink is where a lot of people is in, and a lot of that pink is just 20s and 30s. This white here is the 30s or 40s, and then you got the 50s and 60s that will be in the orange. But she's going all the way up. She's gonna cause heavy rain, rain flooding with the same path that you are watching. And if you wanna see, it's 30s for the white. It's high 20s for the pink. And on the edge, you're going to be in still tropical storm strength. But that's what you're going to get from this storm as it comes in. It's going to come in pretty powerful. It's going to have a couple intense moments like there of over 100. Even when it gets in, it's going to get all the way to 110. So far, that's what we're showing. I mean, it could be some rapid going on between now and then. But this is the update that we have as of now. Now, let me get you over to NAM 3K because they have the best P-type storms that you can see. That way you can see exactly what to expect from this. I'm going to do the full 60 hour run so we can see as far as we can see on the thunderstorms. Uh, any more than 60 hours you really can't depend on. So God bless you all today. I don't know if I told you yet. Good morning. I hope you have a great day. I know a lot of you have a lot of things on your mind as far as what to do, how to pack, should I leave, and everything going on. So please listen to your local officials. Because when they, when they see information and they give you the warnings, they have very good reason to be giving you the warnings that you're going to be under. Now here goes uh, Laura as it comes in. And I'm going to play this for you so you can watch it because she is big and she does do a lot of damage. Now while you watch her come in, you can imagine all that that is a lot of rain and there's a lot of flooding. So I'm going to read to you Revelations 22. God bless you all. May God keep all of you safe. Every single one of you. And he showed me a river of water of life. Clear as crystal flowing out from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Down the middle of the broad way. And on this side of the river and on that side there was trees of life. Producing 12 crops of fruit. Yielding their, their, their fruits each month. And the leaves of the trees were for the curing of the nations. And no more will there be any curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his slaves will render him sacred service. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. Also night will be no more. And they have no need of lamplight, nor do they have sunlight, because Jehovah, Jehovah God will shed light upon them, and they will rule as kings forever and ever. Amen. See this long band right here? This long band is going to go all the way towards New Orleans. And this is straight front line winds. It could be downbursts coming with that. So you still could have problems uh, with this this storm band. Even though you're not getting a direct hit in New Orleans, you got to watch out for them rain bands uh, for afterwards because that's where it really links around and can get you. So don't lose your focus on that, please.
Now I'm gonna do a, a, a high resolution radar search real quick. We can only see 18 hours with this, but this is the best forecast as far as the impacts that you can get on this storm. It is a high resolution HRRR, and this, that's the best one that they love. So that way I can show you what's gonna happen within the next 18 hours of storms you're gonna be getting as it comes in. Now that's loading right there on top, and when it's done loading, I'm gonna hit play. And I'm going to finish reading the Word of God so we can get our fill today. Because we need it every day. Amen. Now let me bring it into focus to where you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, you see all the hail cores that are coming with that? That's a lot of hail cores coming with that power. That is a lot of power. Now one more thing I want to show you before I go is we got to know the wind gust because the wind gust was showing a lot of uh, 138 miles per hour wind gust is what it was talking about I don't want to do a 384 let's just do that 72 and it uh, 138 miles per hour wind gust on 105 miles per hour sustained winds I, I really couldn't tell you which one is worse because they're both terrible numbers and terrible odds so to have both of them together God bless you. What, what y'all going through today, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like getting ready for something like this. So I hope everybody will be okay. But as you can see, the, the black is a rapid intensification. That's 120 plus. But it stays strong the whole time. This thing has a lot of power. And right before landfall, it's stuck 109. I bet it said 109 the whole way, which is crazy. I bet this one way back here, I bet this says 109. See, how is that possible? So I'm going to play this for you so you can see the wind gusts, so you can see what you're going to expect from this storm. The green is the 20s, the uh, 30s to 40s is orange, 50s to 60s is red, 60s to 70s is pink, 70s to 80s is purple, 80s to 90s is blue, and then when you get to the white, you get to 100, and 110 plus when you get to the black. So here's your uh, wind gust that you're going to be getting along with all that rain and damaging wind from this storm. And he said to me, these words are faithful and true. Yes, Jehovah, the God of the inspired expressions of the prophets, sent his angels forth to show his slaves the things that must shortly take place. And look, I am coming quickly. Happy is anyone observing the words of the prophecy of this scroll. God bless you. Amen. Very happy. As a, I'm, I'm sure a, a lot of you can't wait as long as, as, as myself because I'm, I'm so ready for him, for God to come and to bring Jesus and to get all this evilness out the way of this world because it's getting rough. It's really getting rough. It's getting rough to, to believe people. It's getting rough to, rough to know what to do. So the best thing to do is rely on your God. Praise your God. Ask him for guidance and comfort through these times. Now, Shreveport, it looks like it's coming directly for you with this storm. So you are really going to be in the mix of this. Even though it turned in by Beaumont, it looks like it gets on a north to northeast track after that. Because it turned abruptly instead of going to Houston, which is a great thing. So God bless you, Houston. It looks like you're going to get some winds today, but you look like you you might have dodged a bullet. So God bless you all today. I will update later on. I hope you have a blessed day today.